And greetings, friends. We are on our Norway road trip, and uh, it's a huge day. And we are in the glorious landscape up uh, a little bit more north in Norway. We are. We just passed Flom. Um, we drove through the city. Too many tourists. A huge crowd of people. Two big cruise ships and uh, full parking spaces. No, it wasn't full, but we have to pay for them. Uh, I don't want to pay for it. This parking mafia in Norway is just annoying. So, we drove out of that city and now we're aiming to um, visit a small viewpoint. So we took off a side road and uh, we have some huge mountains here. You know, some of these some of these roads here are so fucking slim that I basically struggle to get through some of the you know most narrow roads. And then you meet a bus, and people have to back off and move around. And I just drove into someone's private yard. But yeah, we're climbing up, <clears throat> and um, we're about just about to reach this viewpoint. But we've got a pretty nice view here, though. And here's another crossing point. So it just happened to be synced with the meeting car. So we're basically going zigzagging up the mountains here. So many tourists, Jesus Christ, this, and it's not even season yet, so I'm happy we're here already. But we decided to just cross the road, go up a trail in, behind the, in the backside, and there's nobody here. So we'll have a little bit better view, more peace, and not uh, getting cramped in a flock. Excuse moi, I'm driving here. On a new stretch of road we made some decisions just uh, a couple of hours ago to um, take another road today and like I said in a previous video um, we have made no plans we just go as we go and uh, decide per day where the next destination will be right now we're just trying to see if we can find a nice side road to camp and uh, just stop for today and have a break and um, I need some work time we want to see if we can have a um, um, a campfire, some place that's safe, 
um, and just relax and uh, do some clips for YouTube probably for you guys and then um, see where we end up we made another stop over the mountain here find a very quiet spot and I made a new friend by the way we're just hanging out actually right here it's just right behind me and uh, we had a good talk uh, you know talking about grass and trees and uh, kind of the lack of sunshine but he's doing fine he's just right here we're just hanging out you know chewing on things in life oh he's chewing on grass but uh, kind of chew on my work and new ideas and stuff like that so having a good time I kind of like these sheep better than yeah you know human sheep so you agree to that I think no Hey baby. Oh, you're the black sheep of the family. Yeah. Yeah, sorry about my girlfriend. She's um she's a little bit uh, scared of sheep and uh <laughs> Look, they want to be friends with you. <laughs> being friends or everything okay here? No fighting, okay? Greetings friends. Opening up here today on our road trip still here in Norway. It's Sunday. Um, we discovered that there's a medieval festival here in uh, a bit down south from Lillehammer that we visited the last two days. We are in Hamar in Norway. Beautiful place, pretty open and spacious nature. And here they have uh, this year's medieval festival, which is not only about Vikings, but it's, you know, the medieval ages in general. Pretty big. And um, we thought we just wanted to stop by, have a look around and, and see how it is and we, we actually drove through a fuck of rain but we arrived in sunshine. What I see here is that it's um, it's super nice for the kids because finally kids are actually off their electronic mind control devices so they are actually running barefoot playing with more organic toys uh, instead of fucking up their minds with the uh, television and phones and tablets uh, so that's great it's a good place to be for for families friends with it? Yeah. Okay, you gotta whisper to it. I saw that in the movie once. So the handcraft they have here is um, pretty amazing with bows, arrows, you know, anything in leather, knives. And clothing and shoes leather shoes everything traditional you can get everything here 
and you can um, technically you could just mor just morph into a completely different reality if you want to go back to that time and and um, almost like living a more grounded life and uh, have your own style. More and more people are doing it actually. Okay, that was it. Yeah. Interesting. I kind of I kind of like the vibe of these uh, medieval camps because it's uh, very grounding. Um, peaceful. Yeah, very peaceful. Nice to see how kids are playing in a more healthy way and um, the handcraft. Okay, we'll go back into our uh, house on wheels and uh, continue our journey. I think, uh, are you happy with this spot? Okay. I think we found a good cozy place today. It's a little bit soft here, but um, just have to lift it up a little bit on the back right so we can uh, straighten it up a little bit on the inside. It just feels better. So it feels better to straighten it up a little bit when we do cooking and sitting inside working and stuff. So. Certainly a spot with more mosquitoes here, but uh, we'll keep the doors closed and uh, the mosquito net in front of the windows. Greetings, it's a rainy day here. We're back in Lillehammer. And we have an umbrella even. So we yeah. live in living the luxury lifestyle of having an umbrella. I'm just gonna lock our house. Like that. Alright. Yeah, we did some quick shopping. Um, before we go down south today, or first of the mountains and down moving down south in Norway. Uh, we stopped by Espresso House here. Kind of a nice coffee shop chain um, it's an invasion by the Swedish so they're all over, all over the country but really nice stuff I like the style of these coffee shops so cozy and warm and uh, more like a medieval style look <laughs> Office hours done. Did you get something done, honey, bunny? Mm, I didn't have so much to do, but yeah. Okay. Sounds nice. Got some work done. Um, got stuck on a Shopify client job. It's actually a bug with a Shopify team, and uh, I'm getting all the trouble for it. But it got fixed. So now I'm focusing more on um, now that I have gotten my client email follow-up done at least um, now I got time for my own stuff so it's a nice sexy tractor here mm. can I have one of these tractors no you have not your axe I got my axe from a Swedish brand fine yeah we can build our house now Yay! <laughs> So the way I work is that I always have to spend most of my time for uh, my clients, for technical work, since I do web design. It's easy to work from anywhere, but clients of course have the top priority. When I'm done with that, then I spend time on my own stuff, which would be my email list, my 
little tiny community that I have online and then um, to focus more on my coaching clients which is, has been my goal this year but you know web design takes so much time it's sometimes annoying even though I like building stuff I have other projects too oh, nice it's already warm here in our little house back on the road I think we drove through the rain here because we're back up in the mountain roads and uh, the Sun is coming out and we have a nice view we really like this stretch because of the shape of the nature here is um, it's really typical Nordic I guess very nice so I've been able to um, manifest one of my goals very nice, it was important for me to have the tools ready to survive in nature and defend my family and build our castle. Like I said, so I will now be doing the reveal of the great family tool that's gonna stick with me for years and centuries to come. Here we have it. It's a great day to be alive. This is uh, Gransfors Bruk. It's in Sweden. Um, this is a um, traditional maker of these tools. 20 years warranty. We got the initials here for the guy who uh, have been forging the steel and the axe. And um, we got the book that comes with it. We got a sharpener metal, or it's not. It's kind of a stone, I guess. And uh, we got the axe uh, itself. And uh, I had a look at this in the store. And it's super sharp. It's like sharp like a knife, actually. So, yeah, I like I like handcraft, and I like to have proper tools in good place. arrived in uh, where are we ghoul yeah went over the mountains beautiful landscape to drive in and uh, beautiful Norwegian Nordic pine tree nature uh, we have to stop because um, I got a team call in the US in 40 minutes so um, I will get some work done that's easy to do behind here in our in our van which one should I take? God. <laughs> no, I'm, it's not. You always challenge me. That makes more sense. Yeah, so we're trying to have an argument, <laughs> but it's not working well. I think it's um, interesting uh, when um, she's trying to park. She's decided to take up two spots today. No. And that's very nice. Yeah, you can do that, honey, to be safe. Nice! Tree. Team call is done. I want to lock. Team call is done. Quick and easy in 30 minutes. Now we go shopping before we go uphill again. Find a, looking for a nice place to um, to camp for the night. Right. Yeah. So doing these um, work sessions in the car works well um, we are parked here in, now in Gaul in, uh, Gaul in, in some area <laughs> I see about 20 Wi-Fi's of course I can't use them so I use my phone that's usually what I do when I when I do my work while we are traveling and uh, in Norway it's pretty well covered with the 4G and 5G um, so even doing zoom and stuff like that uh, it's working well um, we have seen on some of the places we have stopped actually that um, 4G have been amazing 
and uh, I have had over 100 megabits some places uh, right in the middle of the forest. Good morning. This is another day. We are on Tuesday and uh, we have started our journey back. Uh, we're still up nor uh, not north in Norway, but in the middle of the map, and we have started our return down to south. And uh, right now we are on the top of the mountain. How tall was it here? 1,100. Yeah, 1,100 meters. It's not very high, but um, the landscape is completely different here. And uh, we're just driving in uh, to a pretty mystical and magical foggy landscape um, with the sun coming through different layers of clouds here. Yeah, we came down for the mountain. We just stopped at uh, kind of a countryside store, cozy place. It's raining, grey day, uh, but I think we found that um, we have enough internet speed here to host a Zoom call. Was it a lovely drive? Yeah. yeah it's a pretty spectacular view down here in the um, valleys and on top of the mountains. It's like from one reality to another. Yeah. So they probably don't have a coffee shop here. We're kind of right in the middle of the farmland. Tessum Dalen, it's what it's called. There's nobody here. Um, but um, you just scan your card and you get access to the store and you just buy things yourself. <laughs> so. That's creepy. Yeah, Come in kind of an unmanned thing. Yeah, well, that's cool, giving people trust like that. Okay, we got set up, I got my phone connected to a hotspot. I'm using my new Fire Air 60 keyboard because it gives me a better typing feeling sometimes, depending on the work I do. It's also to get my hands away from the keyboard on the Mac. Uh, so now we're set up, the first thing I would do was to do a speed test. Just want to see how the line is doing. And um, it got a little bit long ping, but um, yeah, seems like now we got a 65 megabit line. That's pretty good. So uh, we stopped in um, Rukan, but the city looked a little bit dead and we didn't really find a coffee shop today that was looking, looking good. So we decided to just go up to the top of the mountain uh, up here. It's uh, a little bit more winter-like, even now in summer. Uh, it's called Gausatoppen and uh, it's a well-known place for many Norwegian tourists at least. So we're going to snorkel up the roads here today and uh, have our next office hours here.
So good morning to you. Yeah, we had quite a quite a lovely morning here in the Norwegian wilderness in the forest. We did kind of a I did kind of a crazy drive um, up here on the little flat surface mountain uh, last night. Not recommended to uh, to anybody unless you're used to driving in the forest or tractors or trucks or whatever. I've done this before. So, so we're sitting here, um, I'm going to have my workout and morning stretch in a moment, um, but we're planning our journey back down south in Norway today before we return to Sweden and, um, and we are going to take a look at our next journey today. Uh, I've felt it in my backside lately because of sitting down and working a lot in the van. So. Feeling in my lower back. The only thing that keeps um, fixing it for my part is to keep doing my kick practice. And as some of you know, I've been doing uh, martial arts for years, 17 years of Taekwondo, and you know, of course, kick practice are, is our main practice. And that's been the only thing that's been fixing my lower back before when I had some back problems from sitting hours after hours and doing my work at home in my, my desk. I think it was easier down than up, of course it is, but it felt smoother on the tires, which I'm more sorry about. But we are back down safe. road again yeah we are on the way to Omli we are climbing up the mountains here this is his driving and loves it and um, yeah we're back going back down south um, to to my area and uh, we're going to stop and have a visit at my cousin's place I'm gonna upload the next YouTube video because he got a good fiber line so uh, we do that at the same time have coffee and then we are actually going back uh, to my hometown and we're going to stop and there at my that? storage place. We're going to rearrange our luggage because today we decided uh, for our next segment, which is going to be Switzerland. That's going to be the next trip. Tomorrow we'll be driving back to Stockholm, we're going to deliver this van. So tomorrow's mainly going to be a driving day. Uh, probably one or two stops at least pause for breaks, eating, uh, do some office work and um, yeah just enjoy the road basically. It's a, it's a really nice drive to Sweden. The Sweden got really nice roads so having a new day in our reality. So we are dropping off the car today and uh, we're gonna catch a flight and go to Switzerland. And I have to say we have had a really, really nice trip um, in Norway. Mm -hmm. 